Okay, Celestino, barn burner of a match there. You win a, well, you win by pin, but you're up 12 to eight. And you like to, to do some rolling, don't you? Hey, yeah. This is my, well, rolling has just been a part of my life for like since, uh, since from like when I was three years old. And rolling, doing rolling and wrestling is just very fun for me. And like, I like doing it. But you have a jujitsu background, right? Yes. So I see when you're in those positions, when there's, when you the, and the guy, when it's like referee's position, you're at home there, aren't you? Yeah, my main thing is for jujitsu. We're always on our backs, and it's just, I have to get that, I have to like fight that urge to go not get on my back so I can get that thing. How much does wrestling make sense for you with a jiu-jitsu background? Obviously the biggest the biggest problem is I don't want to go to my own back, right? Yeah. Because in jiu-jitsu, you want to go on your back, that's where you can submit people, right? Mm -hmm. So so why, why does wrestling make so much sense for you? It makes so much sense because, well, I can, I can do a lot of sports because basketball you have to you have to run with the ball and I can barely see objects and like soccer uh, soccer football bowling it's just um, wrestling was like one of the one of the one things that could I could use my uh, I have an advantage with my eyesight and so I can actually do things like how other people do it instead of being like the outcast for like sports other sports so you look at it as an advantage you actually just said that you you, you look at wrestling when you wrestle it why isn't it an advantage for you because people think people think very low about people think low because either because i used to get it a lot when i was a little kind of uh we were talking um people be like oh he's blind i think you can beat him and like i would get like i would get like taught, like said like a uh, bad reputation talking about how my eyesight and i won't be able to do other things I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't, people think that, oh, you can beat him. You can definitely beat him. He has a cane. And like, it's just, <laughs> it's just an advantage to get the upper hand of what they think. So you're using their psyche a little, against them a little bit. They, they might be thinking, hey, this guy can't roll because he can't see me. But they have to remain in contact with you, right? Mm -hmm. Which is actually an advantage for you, right? W would you say that? I would say it's an advantage and a disadvantage because I, yeah, I really... I, it's just hard for me to like move around a little because I have to keep contact. But it's it has its perks and non perks to it. Okay, so this is your first season wrestling, actually, right? Yes. What is, what's been the what, what have you fallen in love with about the sport of wrestling? What do you dislike? Or what do you like? Or what do you love about wrestling? I love that. Um, I love basically just like like being in contact and like working on things, working on things to build my upper body strength. To do wrestling and learn a whole bunch of. I love learning. Learning is one of my favorite things to do. So, to the degree of your, your visual impairment, like I was asking you, what do the glasses actually really do? Do they really help you see objects any better? Or, you know, what would you say the degree of your of your visual impairment is? Well, for the glasses, um, they don't really help me at all. They don't, like, cure my eyesight. They don't, they just magnify things to, like, so it's not really as small as I see it would be. It's just a little magnifier. It doesn't really, like, things... Like things at school, it's still it's still blurry. It's still it's still small, and I get like enlargements for my papers because of my eyesight. And so it's just it has its it just magnifies things a little bit. So it's just a little bit it helps, but you can see larger objects as long as they're closer, right? To the to the fullest ex not really the full extent, but I f feel like if it's closer, it it wouldn't be the best. It wouldn't be like a normal eyesight. It would just it would the person would still be blurry with the object. It's just that it's just a little bit more clear for me gotcha. to see instead of me straining my eyes to look far away. What's your favorite thing about um, you know being in school and now kind of being able to do junior high wrestling and being able to to go to school? What's your favorite thing about school and wrestling? My favorite thing about school is well, pretty much one of my main things is music. I love I love music. I love everything about music, and so that's that's what I that's what I really like love and enjoy about school and wrestling. I love how well I love that you're in contact. You're just you can you're in your own minefield, and you can focus on what you're doing against the opponent. Like as music, you want to focus on your own things, focus on the music that you're playing, and you want to focus straight and see straight through it. All right. I want to make sure I didn't, like, make a mistake on your last name. How do I say your last name? My last name? Well, I have four, I have four names. Four yeah. names? So I had Celestino Okiendo is what I said. 
Well, yeah, my first name is Celestino. My last name is Oquendo. Oquendo, so and okay, I did mess it up a little bit. Yeah, and then my other last name is Richie, and my middle name is Vance. Okay. And so this nickname, that's where I got my nickname from, Celestino Vance Oquendo, the first initials, and that's how you get Sivo. <laughs> that's okay. my nickname, as everybody calls me, Sivo. Okay, what grade are you in right now? I am in eighth. So will you wrestle next year for the Titans of Lorraine? Yes, that would be... Uh, Oh, yes, probably, yeah. Probably? So you're gonna, we're going to probably see you on maybe at some varsity tournaments. Yes. Oh, uh, Celestino, you got me fired up, man. You got anything else for me? Well, I just want to just, like, give, like, a thing to, like, everybody. Because, like, some people mostly think that their disadvantage is just a complete disadvantage. Their disadvantage is actually an advantage against other people. And that, like, people being blind, deaf, people who don't have an arm, people who don't have one finger or mul or multiple fingers it's just that you can do like you can do what you want to do and just make sure you persevere through it and make sure you focus and train hard and show other people that you can do it okay if you make the state in the oac first off what do you think of the oac tournament and if you qualify for the state will you be there yes and i think about the tournament is that is that it's it's a pretty big tournament because this is my first time this is my first year, so it's a pretty big tournament. And there's a lot of, I see a lot of strong people and I'm kind of getting pumped up. I'm getting pumped up to ready to go against them. And if I lose, I learn things. If I lose, I learn what I could do to do better next year. And, or if I win, I can learn, I can still learn on what I did and do it better. All right, man. Well, you got me excited. We're gonna try and maybe catch another one of your matches today if we're still here. Good luck to you moving forward. You got anything else for me? No. <laughs> Celestino, thanks for the time and good luck.